Hey there, snack lovers. Welcome back to another deep dive into the world of food and health. Did you know that some of your favorite American snacks contain ingredients that are banned or restricted in other countries? Yes, you heard that right. Yeah, it's kind of shocking. Let's break it down and see what's really going on with these controversial ingredients. First up, artificial food colorings like Red Dye No. 3, Yellow No. 5 and 6, and Red No. 40. These colors make our snacks vibrant and appealing, but they're linked to hyperactivity and behavioral issues in kids. Imagine that burst of color coming with a side of hyperactivity. While they're common in the U.S., countries like the U.K. require warning labels and others have banned them outright. It's a big deal across the pond. Then there's titanium dioxide. This one's used to make colors pop even more. Sounds harmless, right? Just a little extra sparkle for your treats. Well, the European Union disagrees. They banned it over concerns that its nanoparticle size could damage DNA. That's some serious stuff. Meanwhile, it's still all good in the U.S. No restrictions here, so it's in many of our favorite snacks. Ever heard of potassium bromate? It's a flour additive that makes baked goods fluffy. Think of those soft, airy loaves of bread, but some studies suggest it might be carcinogenic. Yes, it could potentially cause cancer. California's already moving to ban it, but it's still widely used elsewhere in the U.S., so you might want to check those labels. So, why the different standards? The U.S. food industry argues that the FDA regulations are adequate and the risks are minimal. They believe the benefits outweigh the risks, but health advocates are worried about long-term effects. They argue that we should be more cautious. It's a debate that's not going away anytime soon. Both sides have strong arguments and it's a complex issue. So what can you do about it? Start by reading labels. Know what's in your food and make informed choices. Being aware is the first step to making healthier decisions. Resources like the CSPI's Chemical Cuisine Ratings can help you out. They provide detailed information on food additives. And remember, a balanced diet with whole foods is always a good bet. Fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are your best friends. All right, that's a wrap for today. We hope you found this information eye-opening. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more eye-opening content. Your support helps us bring you more valuable insights. Stay healthy and snack smart. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care and make those snack choices wisely.